I'm making a video response to this video because not many people have touched upon it, and I feel like I need to make this in order to get a point across. Dear members of Congress. Dear members of Congress. Dear members of Congress. Dear members of Congress. It's one of those videos again, isn't it? All these random celebrities getting together just to send a message is stupid. Especially when you have to repeat the exact same message over and over again. I'm mad. Flabbergasted. Furious. Look at this guy. This guy's a radical cuck feminist. Just look on how this guy smiles. It's the face that I want to punch. Of course this video needs a goddamn radical feminist in this video. It's fucking perfect. Concerned for my children. Great, so we're bringing children into this. Lordy, lordy, think of the children. I'm worried for everyone. The majority of Americans, regardless of who they voted for, did not vote for racism, for sexism, or for xenophobia. America didn't vote for any of these things, so what's your point? And yet Donald Trump won. So America didn't vote to put a quote-unquote racist and sexist bigot, but Donald Trump won. Do you even understand on how voting works? And since he won, hate crimes are rising. Women have been attacked in his name. People of color attacked in his name. Okay, first of all, I hardly see any of that. In fact, if anything, I see the complete opposite. Just recently, a mentally disabled kid was attacked by four black kids. They tortured him for about 48 hours. They cut him, made him drink out of the toilet, and of course said the words, fuck Donald Trump. Regardless on whether or not this is to have to do anything with Black Lives Matter, without a doubt this is fueled by the hatred of Donald Trump. And this is becoming more common. We see Trump supporters getting attacked by practically anyone. Blacks, whites, Latinos, etc. I'm not saying there aren't any Trump supporters going out there raping women, but this narrative which you're trying to push where Donald Trump supporters are this evil group of people who want to make blacks and other minorities suffer is just plain wrong. It's fine if you're against Donald Trump, but don't fucking lie when there is loads of evidence suggesting that the liberals are the ones who want to murder all white people in America. Second of all, I would like to see the amount of evidence where women are being attacked under Trump's name. Please, bring light to this subject so that way people like myself can talk about it and compare it to the things that the left have done. You represent us in Congress. You are our last line of defense. So here's what we ask of our elected officials. No, here's what we demand. To the extent that Trump pursues racist, sexist, anti-immigrant, anti-worker, anti-Muslim, anti-Semitic, anti-environmental policies, we demand that you vigorously oppose him. We demand that you block nominees who threaten the rights of women, the LGBT community, people of color, immigrants, and the poor. And we want you to know that we are with you. And what if Donald Trump never makes a bill that even remotely suggests to attack minorities? Are you willing to apologize to the people of lying to them? I doubt that Donald Trump will be able to make a bill that bashes a certain group of people, and even if he did, it will take years to take effect. The people will speak out against this, including myself. However, people like yourself will most likely shut up if Hillary Clinton was to become president and make some sort of bill bashing white people. As long as you do that stuff, we won't remain silent. We won't remain silent. We won't remain silent. We'll work harder to mobilize our votes and our communities. But we need you and we expect you to have our backs. So basically, it's a desperate plea to make sure that your rights are protected. Your rights are not in danger. Jesus Christ! To protect our civil liberties and to use your congressional powers to obstruct, to obstruct, 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 defeat, anything, 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 anything. Oh my God, how many times are you going to repeat yourself? This isn't necessary. It's annoying. That violates our core values as diverse Americans. Signed, the majority, the majority, the majority, the majority, the majority, the majority of the American people. How fucking stupid are you? You're not part of the majority. The massive majority is the ones who have voted for Trump. You don't get to speak on behalf of America. And that's the end of the video, but I want to touch up on a few things. Since uh, I mentioned that video where this kid was tortured by a bunch of kids, who were anti-Trump, I might as well uh, talk about it a little bit because it's really fucked up. I mean, it might as well to kill two birds with one stone, right? So here's the dealio. I, I don't 
really care if you hate Donald Trump. It's fine if you don't like him. I, I, I won't, you know, go out of my way to say, oh, you're an evil son of a bitch if you don't support Donald Trump. No, I, I don't care about that shit. However, when you start bullying people for supporting Donald Trump, or even for being white, or, you know what, just, just to be a total dick. If you do that, you're fucking despicable. I don't care what's the motive. And in this case, it's really fucking disgusting that these kids would target some some mentally handicapped kid for the, for just for what to to show that it's totally okay to pick on mentally handicapped kids to pick on white people I, I don't care what the motive is okay if it's related to black lives matter then it's related to black lives matter if it's not then fine i don't care but the funny thing is that the media is just trying to downplay this like it has nothing to do with race it has um it has nothing to do with Black Lives Matter. Fine. It has. If it's nothing to do with Black Lives Matter, fine. I don't care. But the media is trying to play it out as if it's totally okay to hate white people. These people, um, in that particular video, that talk about they they fear that, oh, uh, black people are now more afraid than ever to. Go out on the street without being a, a seen as some sort of evil gangster wannabe. Ooh, no, <laughs> no, no. It is the complete opposite. If you are a Trump supporter, chances are that you're going to be jumped for it. <laughs> and, and, and that is ridiculous. That these type of people on this particular video will tell us otherwise. And the media has been pushing this ideology that it's okay to bully white people because of years of oppression. The Amazing Atheist touched upon this. Where, like, there's a bunch of comments saying, oh, you know, it, it's totally okay to go after white people because systemic racism. Yeah. Psst. Who knew? Two wrongs do make a right, right? It's about damn time that we start pushing back against this narrative. We need to make sure the media doesn't spread this propaganda that it's okay to bully white people. I'm Hispanic, but I wouldn't want to hurt any white person, any any white man, or black man, or whatever. I am all for equality, regardless of gender, uh, sexual orientation, whatever. So, we need to say something. We need to push back. We need to say it's enough. That's enough. I hope those kids, those four little punks, get mm, about 30, 40 years in prison time because they fucking deserve it. There is just no excuse for it, okay? And if you defend those motherfuckers, then I just have no words for you. You're fucking disgusting. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Keep gaming on.